it's Amy, your 31 Big Pink Haired Lady, and today is day 25 of our 30 day challenge. We are almost there, yay! Okay, so today I want to talk about organization again, but I want to talk about photo organization. Okay, I know people have been cleaning things out and you're finding all these old photos from lots of places. Well, now you know what, you need to keep those, okay? So now is the time to either get them scanned, if you have a scanner or a printer, do that way, or take them over to Staples, have them do them. But you need to get those digitally because you wanna make sure you don't lose them. And you're also able then to get them color corrected, which is kinda nice too. And speaking from a designer, you kinda wanna do that just to maintain the integrity. But then what do you, once you get them scanned, what do you do, right? Well, I'm going to tell you a few of my tricks and see if they may work for you. But, you know, photos are one of those things where, you know, you change to a new phone or something like that. You don't want to lose them. And somehow or other, I always seem to lose something. So here's what I do. I actually have a OneDrive account set up. And in there, I have a folder that's just Amy's photos. And they're just from my phone. Okay, so about once a month, I actually sit around with my phone in my hand going, okay, and I move all of these photos into OneDrive. And what it does is it copies them over there. So then I know I can delete them off of my phone and free up space, even though I have a ton of space. But this way it's easier for me to find things down the line too. So I know I can always go back to my OneDrive and find things there. But the key is to have them organized. now. I'm not talking librarian, card catalog, no, 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 no. I need you to think about what works for you. And I define mine really simply because I have work photos, I have fun photos, I have photos of me and my husband, I have photos that are just me, I have photos for my 31 business, I have photos of my 31 friends, I have photos of my three day friends. So I kind of divide things like that. So then I have a base where I can start looking for things. If you want to get really ambitious, I'm saying really ambitious, you can actually go and rename all the photos in your files. So then it's easier to search for them too. Just remember, this can take some time, but a little bit of time organizing your photos is going to save you a ton of time down the line. Okay? so. Take some time, organize your photos, get things organized. You know, you're gonna feel so much better when you do. Plus this way you get to have those memories forever. Love that idea. And speaking of loving forever, make sure you are subscribing to this channel. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And make sure you like this video and share it with a friend. Plus remember when you subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell because then you'll be the first one to know the next time my next video drops. Okay, I hope you have a great time. Organize, organize, organize. And going through a little bit of rundown memory lane when you go through all those photos. Have a great day. See you soon.